Good morning from Wicker Sam K9 Ranch in beautiful Marshville, North Carolina. Today we've got Riley Butts being handled by Bryce Patrick. We're doing our obedience basics reintegration lesson. Number one is going to be a right hand box seal. Ready when you are. Riley. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. Good. Girl. All right, so he stepped off with the left foot and he turns 90 degrees after putting the right toe in the ground and swinging the left ankle. We're going to take this dog for a two lap uh, uh, repetition pattern. Good girl. And we'll have three Good reps girl. in the set. Very simply, we're going to line in our parallel left and moving forward with 90 Good. degree turns. Any distraction will be on the outside. Good. We're going to rotate. Right. Sit. Good girl. And reward the dog. We're going to approach in between set when we have opportunities available to confirm the dog is in a stay off of a toe line and we see him close his body off to it. Nice. Put a step off with the left. Yep. And pivot yep. or to the right. Leave it. Got a little recital effect in our young girl. Mm -hmm. And she's looking up in the camera. Getting a little variance. Yep. Good. It's giving our handler an opportunity to yep. snap those hips. Good. We'll pop a footwork. Yep. Good girl. So Good as girl. she has her own passive correction. You see she gets a little excited about induction. I don't blame her, I like food too. Good. Right. Rotate and reward acquiring a signal. Good girl. Good. I see a submissive lick out of the dog. And we're gonna go ahead and mock up a couple things off the left plane or the left toe, making sure the dog doesn't cross. We're gonna finish her out with a third repetition. Good. Heel, leave it. Good girl. You know what's about Riley? She's looking at your feet and looking at your hand. She was wild girl. pony when we got her. Good Pet. girl. A wild pony when we got her. Still young. Good. Very good turn. Loving and sweet. Nice pivot, young man. Riley. That's the way to communicate. Good job. Coming in for what would be a simulation of one on advanced work as well as a sit. So we're going to take our puppy for our third revolution or third repetition in the set. Riley. Step in with the left. Good. Swinging to the right. Now you do it. Buckle's in perfect position. This is teaching pack membership. Good girl. Parallel left. Yep. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Handler must stay in motion at all times, even if the dog wants to stop. We're only running three repetitions, two laps each. Can be done inside. And again, we're trying to position all of our distraction off of the handler's right side currently, so as he can close and split the stay signals. May I? Good. So if we can hand off things a la one in our advance and then pet the dog a la two in our advance. Good girl. All on a basic spot. Fire release. Shake the dog out. Good girl. And then so we're going to work exercise two, which is left hand box seal. We're going to start our dog in motion with a left step Good. off and a 90 yep. degree pivot. Good. We're going to turn that dog with our body and we're going to make two revolutions. In this sequence, what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish a plane that gives us a left turn. I see the dog giving us a submissive lick Good. in that fifth turn, which tells us that she's sweet and cooperative. Good. We're moving forward and turning 90 degrees in front of her. She's going to do a little variance of pace. Good. Riley, stand. And we finish in a Good. stand this time. What we're trying to do is we're trying to... Good. Be able to progress from one repetition to another and teach her curbing principles because we know she lives in Mitt Hill. So here we go. Ready? Ready. Nice split, turning the dog 90 degrees left. Good. Again, wild pony, running the intersection of don't cross and don't forge. Gonna get a dog bomb in here and we're gonna handle through it. Heel. Good. Good. Just give him a little kiss sniff. Good job. Way to keep her moving. That's the only way we could have failed with the dog getting into the workstation. Stand. 
as if we came to rest. I love how he touches the withers. He's telling the dog to stay at that point with his body language. Super awesome, man. Third and final rip. Riley through. Yep. Good. Handler's cognizant of the split, making sure the dog didn't go around the Mr. Ransom. Good girl. And we get our second repetition. A revolution rather on our third revolution on our third repetition. Dog on it. Good dog. Good girl. Wait, good job, Ransom. I saw shoulder joints continue moving, so I know the dog is actually healing. Riley. Stand. Good. Stand. Good. See how he establishes the signal and the touch, and the dog gives the submissive lick and puts that shoulder in the ground. Excellent, y'all. Let's move on. Riley, all through. Good girl. We're on repetition number three. We've got a handler and we've got a porter that's helping us. And so what we're going to do now is teach a send away with a recall. We're going to send the dog. Hey, nice tone. Hey, baby. What's up? A high tone friend. Bowling the dog with the left. We'll call away from cookie and touch. Riley. Leave it. Good. With the target sound and a one piece. We'll finish in the sit. Eventually we can finish in the stand. Second rep. Good. Dig it. Got the dog where he need to be. Thank you, Ransom. So she got to turn her butt in front of the bigger dog. This is going to be good. Riley. Good. There you go. Nice work. Sets the edge into the stand. I love it. Triple threaten. Triple threaten. Then. Good. Check for a jump. Make sure we have no naughty behavior. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Lovely kisses. Let's be patient on the leash. Riley, leave it. Good. There it is. We want to see that condition behavior. Big smile. Good girl. I love how he would use the stand in the second rep and the sit in the first and third because he knows we have to get out of the loop. Great job, y'all. Let's move on to four. Good. Yep. Are we gonna just? We're gonna do number four right now, which is place. What I need you to do is touch and love on this sweet baby, making her feel inclusive with the handler. This will be in and around the chair in the indoor studio. Good. And so after we feel like that, then what I need to do, unfortunately, is have you displace her from the handler using a location downstate. Ready when you are? That's my puppy. That's my puppy. Nice signal. Coming in, yes. Big signal. Yes. Love his backside signal as the shoulders rotate downward. She submissive look says, hey, let's do that again. The way that we show her the start finish is by getting back to her side, pair our noses in the same direction, and we'll fire the release. Nice, I love it. I'm not talking to you. Good job, y'all. Love your dog up. Inclusive, round the chair. 30, 40 seconds. Then we gotta get a work done. Right in place. Good. Sit. Good. Submissive pause into Good. the posture. Nice. We're gonna work quickly. I see more sunshine than I anticipated. Good. Love your backside signal. Hold that. Let's throw a fastball high and inside, give her another signal. And let's become separated and seated again. She stuck her nose between the paws, telling us that she is a submissive, obedient, awesome dog. We turn to her, she's laughing. Fire the release. Good. So we're going to work our third and final so she can remember that uh, forever. In training matrix right now, we've got two successes. It's time to do an expansion from what she's seen and get more clarity on what we're working on. 
You see a submissive paw, she's talking to her handler. She might be getting hot just a little bit. But she also may be having a shake impulse. Our final uh, repetition on number three, we split between the handler, who gives a signal, we pour a quick glass of water, and then we walk right between the handler again with the backside signal. The dog stays at that point, then we're ready for progression to where we can begin to eat our meals and um, use it in a single set format. Fire your release. Excellent work, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's water in life today with my beautiful Riley Bucks. I want to use or apply my heel and my stand stay while teaching this puppy application. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap forward and I'm going to start to move it. Good, let's go. Heel. Never popped her running out to the sunshine when it's getting hot. That's okay. I'm going to about turn and I'm going to come on back with her. And very simply, I'm going to find my shade. I'm going to give the stay signal with the stand. You ready? Stand and stay. The dog, as soon as she sticks her shoulder in the ground, I am going to touch her withers once and reaffirm the signal. At that point, I am accountable or holding her accountable with my eye. And I'm going to go into the bag. And as she moves one iota, I am going to correct her with a good old fashioned N.O. And I'm going to tell her no there. And I'm going to finish what I'm doing with my bag. And then I'm going to give a signal again. And then I'm going to move her forward. This time, we're going to have a sequence where the bag begins to get uh, uneven. You ready? Heel. I'm going to move her forward. She's got all the skills. We're just a young puppy. Heel. And we're using a 180 degree to the right turn with the stand step. And again, at that point, as soon as she sticks her shoulder in the ground, I'm going to affirm to the withers with some sponginess. And I am watching that shoulder at all times, and I'm going to take the weight out of the bag. She's got to overcome zippers. All right. Any kind of mild um, irritation to perform her work. I'm going to move forward. Good girl. We're going to about her. Heel. Good, I all swung motion. And then we're gonna stand again. And I'm gonna set the pivot. Good, from here in front of the dog. I see that she needs a little more left turn over time. Put a fern, the stand stay, give a hand signal. And my peripheral is right here on this shoulder at all times. At this point, we can begin an expansion. You got two zippers, but my whole goal is is to be able to just fiddle around in and around this apparatus with the dog in the stay. When we get to the third, I'm going to shake it out and just relax. Ready? All through. Good job, Riley. Good job. If she walks out of my sphere of influence, I'm going to check her. Good. Shake the leash at her to remind her that even though she's at ease, we're still working. We're still working. Good job. That's my good girl. And then after about 30 seconds or so of chillaxing, sniffing, letting her watch doggy TV and learn about her environment, we'll call her right back to a one-piece pickup. Riley, heel, where I begin to walk. She joins parallel. And I go right back in and through all of my obedience basics motions with the dog. And I want to finish her out on the very last repetition with my hip closing in front of the dog so I don't have to tell her. Good. Or correct her. And we're just like our golfing pro or our basketball instructor is going to tell you to finish on a success using good methodology. So we're on four, which is our bonus. I'm trying to sniff, see if that's a cookie or something for her. And get a big signal. And then when I fire that release, good, I'm going to shake out the leash again just to let her know she's at ease, but she's not to go outside of my sphere of influence, which is three foot. You ready? Mm -hmm. So I shake it out. She's got all of the folks who have handled with her and Mr. Pete. And I'm going to check and shake. Good girl. That's a good girl. And so if we do this, what's going to happen over time is as you start to see 
if the dog doesn't know or if it's out of position, it's going to start to automatically get right back in position so that we can move on and see more cooler things in life and experience more retrievals and scent tracks and peoples and all the things that life has to offer. It's been a pleasure working with her and I'm going to work in on a exit uh, video real quick with some scent tracking. Let's go.